All right, day 44 of my uh, make the world a better place from your home. I'm not quite at my home today. I'm down the street at a vacant lot. Wore my mask to get here. Thanks, Sadie, for coming with me. Um, and I'm channeling Miss Rumpheus. Miss Rumpheus was a, a, a children's book that, that somebody gave to me, and it was about uh, a lady who walked the uh, the area around Newfoundland and um, and spread lupine seeds wherever she went and made the world a more beautiful place. So today I decided on this vacant lot that I'm visiting more often because I have to walk my dog down this way because the bridge is closed. Um, I thought I would plant some sun chokes from my yard. I dug up I dug up a bunch of these. Uh, these all have big yellow flowers later on in the season that are good for the bees and then the uh, roots are edible which is kind of cool but the best part is is that they're they're uh, spreaders and they're gonna grow about five to six feet tall and now compete all the weeds that are in here and provide a little bit of joy for me later on in the season. Also what I'm planting is a bunch of this um, milkweed that I've collected uh, and, um, and it's time to get it into the ground. I've uh, put it at a couple different places uh, but in this uh, area down by the water where it's sort of uh, sunny and open and gravelly I'm going to scratch it into the ground and you can see that it'll it'll blow away which is fine we we're fine with some of that but what we want to do is actually just wet wet this and wet the seeds so that they can get scratched into the ground and get going all right so i just wet these so they don't blow away on me and i make sure i get a few seeds in every hole and I made, I just went around and made a bunch of these little holes. I'm just gonna go like that. You don't have to be too technical, I got a ton of seeds. So I'm gonna do this about a hundred times out here successful because I also want to get rid of the seed. Um, so the reason I'm planting the milkweed is because that's what the monarchs lay their eggs on so that the larvae can feed on there and then turn into new butterflies to continue on their migration down to floor, down to Mexico. Um, and uh, so a lot of people have been thinking about the monarch butterflies because they've been endangered and uh, because of heavy pesticide use in a lot of our uh, crops. And so by doing backyard gardening and creating things like they're called pollinator pathways, they're basically little patches all along the route where they can stop and get nectar and also be able to raise their young or have their young be raised. Um, and so we're just doing our little part here on Quinnipiac Avenue um to to make the monarchs uh, part of our world all right so i got this area along the fence here down here so i'm gonna put these up close to the fence and uh you can see where they had already started uh coming up and uh so i'm gonna bury them about the same depth that they were buried in my yard and um i'll just put them in like that just carefully put my little bit of soil over it nice and loose Then the trick is, don't step on it, just use a little water. I brought some water with me. And just use the water to settle the soil in around that uh, tuber there. So I'll do the same with this. I'm gonna go all the way down along the fence here. And if I'm lucky, in uh, July, I'll start to see them. And in August, I think is when they, when they bloom, August and September. Um, anyways, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for coming out, Addie and joining me in my uh, Miss Rumpius challenge today. There you go. All right, well, that was a little bit of work today. Um, I planted all along the fence, and um, so I switched from Rock to Rock to The Great Give, which is next Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, it's run through the Community Foundation, and it's all the different uh, nonprofits in New Haven all trying to raise money at the same time and competing and getting prizes and stuff like that. Um, but if you are out there looking, look for us under uh, youth 
uh, social justice, and obviously the environment. Urban Resource Initiative, thank you, and um, see you soon.